Hello my dear friends, this is a painting cat, my name is Catherine and today we're going to paint Christmas and New Year composition with the candles. Also we will paint some Christmas de decoration. It's a Christmas tree, also it's a, a decoration balls, some berries, red berries and holy leaves. We painting with acrylic. This is a demonstration tutorial full real-time version with instructions and comments about color mixing, about process and techniques we're using here, uh, you can find on my Patreon. Also there you can find and print sketch and uh, it can be easily uh, transferring on a canvas. Let me demonstrate you quick now how to do it. Uh, you're probably noticing I'm painting, I'm going to paint on a black canvas today. When you visiting uh, art stores, you probably saw some kind of um, canvas with color primer on it. And uh, I just did one by myself, black one. By the way, sometimes uh, when I'm chucking uh, color, canvases, it can be cheaper than a normal white one. Uh, I cover it with black and dry it with a hairdryer. Technique when we using first layer as a color, that giving a um, mood for composition, also the main color of composition, calling imprimatura. This is a very beginning level for acrylic, so imprimatura for today. Just black in a single color without any texture, without palette knives. Simple one. So next step, as soon as everything dried, first layer dried and you transferred with a chalk, just a white chalk, um, I transfer it sketch. I'm ready to work with the paints. Very less number of colors we're using today. It's possible to paint just in five colors. Black and white, of course, we have to use. And also, it's a yellow, red and a green. I really like when we're learning not just techniques and a process, but we're also learning colors, how it's calling on tubes. Because next time when you will go to the art store, you will know what you're looking for. Not just red, vermilion, not just a burgundy or dark red. No, it's a carmine calling. So many yellow colors also, but today we have to open just medium yellow. For green, I'm using phthalo green, but you can use any green you have anyway, if you need to get more warm color, like a grass green color, you have to mix it with a small amount of yellow medium. Steps. Step on the uh, steps on this tutorial. First, for background, I was painting with a, um, a half-dried brush with a big and flat brush. My brush, brush strokes was very light. I was slightly touching just the surface to the left and to the right for texture of wood I created and next I created planks. Next step, I'm planning candles. It's just three of them. And straight after I created first layer for halo around flames. We already have all shadows here and of course the most dark shadows it's a black. So basically all we have to do is open a light, show the light here. Not possible to create a really colorful areas if we're not using white. So for candles course we have to we're using white and straight after I used vermilion on top so candles now looking more bright but still very interesting texture isn't it I used a natural bristol brush kind of rough and I really like those brush strokes that these two giving to me 
Next, I'm going for better detailing. And you already can feel a light here, even before we painted flames in the center. And when we are ready, we already created some sports light and everything. We painting flames in the center of each candle. Next, we have to paint holy leaves. I will paint three or four of them and also smaller berries in the center. For color, I have phthalo green. I really like this color looking bright, saturated, especially when you mixing it with white. But we have to create sometimes more warm color. To do it, we have to add yellow medium and mix all together. First, we have to create just shapes without any details, just shapes and fill with a color. Next, we're gonna work on detailing. But before, we also have to think about objects around. Of course, it's a Christmas ball. This one will be golden. Another one I'm thinking to create as a, as a dark red. Next, berries. Oh, I just adore this step. Also, my kids love it. It's just a round sponge. We're making prints, but don't just print. Print and turn a little bit. Print and turn a little bit. This way, shape will be really filled up with the color. Next, look, we already planned holy leaves, two balls, a little bit of berries around, and also Christmas tree. Dark color, really dark green, juicy, right? So nicely green. Important moment. Don't pick up too small brush. I know we all want to create very, very mm, detailed Christmas tree with lots of pointy green needles, but not today. Again, it's a beginner level and I really want everyone to be able to complete this tutorial and to catch those Christmas mood. By the way, I think yellow, red and green just awesome for uh, this kind of compositions. Next, we have to detail some leaves. Moment here. First, we have to leave veins on the leaves without any color. We already, again, we already have shadows, imagine. So veins of leaves, dark enough, we don't touching them. We just imagine reserving it, we painting only light. Light here on this leaf will be on a bottom side and a dark on a top side of the leaf. Only light on a top side of the leaf will go on an edge. Same way for second leaf. Here we have just a half of the leaf, maybe even the third part. Tiny bit. And the next one. Actually, only one leaf we detailing here well enough. This is the first leaf. All others, it's half detailed, so we really don't need to spend much time on it. See? Just a tiny bit of light and basically I'm just following outline and blending light color from the outline inside of the leaf. 
very nicely possible to blend with a dry brush so you have to handle two brushes first with acrylic on it and a second brush it's a flat oval shaped brush and I can control blending very well leaves are done maybe let's set another one here again it's just outline that I'm blending inside and uh, red berries don't skip it it's an uh, important and well-known part of the holy tree uh, next we have to detail those uh, berries that we plant with uh, round sponges again we already have um, shadow parts on it so we need to show a light spots of light I put another layer on a uh, holy berries and next I'm moving and painting decoration Christmas ball I want to create metallic looking ball so I'm stamping again but now my stamp it's a brush it's a flat brush I have small amount of paint on it again how dry brush technique and I'm stamping mostly light hair on this ball in the center and a color mixing here so easy it's just a white and a yellow don't forget to paint metal cup and let's move on the next part for the tutorial in the real time you have to plan at least one hour but trust me for this uh, size of composition and uh, it's at 20 30 centimeters it's not much it's a really short tutorial and in one hour possible to create the whole you know, painting nice if you have black can canvas from the start so you will not spend time for uh, primary with the black but of course primary taking you know about 10 minutes maybe next uh, we detailing Christmas tree it's a lighter green again it's a green but lighter shade and we going on an each green needle starting from the point going inside not too thin right my brush big enough so we're not sitting too long for too tiny details here process going so nice and well and now it's a third layer again with a even a lighter color and I recommend here to add more yellow into a mix Next, it's a bowl. Second one have a red color and a metal cap as well. Also, I will create small red ribbon here and a light spots on it. Let's also detail a bit these berries on the left side not too much don't pay much attention on it because it's not a center of composition at all as you saw i was just uh, blending with my fingers even didn't take a brush for help important moment here it's um, controlling of watery of your um, acrylic when you're painting halo uh, consistency have to be watery but not running so i demonstrate on my hand it's not running at all but it's still transparent and very uh, easily blendable on a canvas oh next step i just 
so love it. It's a snow on top. I have a fun brush. It's a kind of watery consistency of white again. I have separated palette for white. This is important because um, try to evade accidental mixes with the previous colors. We have to um, work with a really clear white. I knocked uh, on my hand, it's possible knock on the palette, uh, and cover it with the snow or composition. Bigger snowflakes I added with a paintbrush. And now I want to create those frozen snowy ends of green needles. I'm touching not every, but only needles on top and blending a little bit in with my finger. Also, don't forget to add yellow color on the flames. Let me add a little bit more snow, but only around. Only around on a dark background, not in the center. Everything we have to do now, everything we have left, is just a sign. I hope you, my dear friends, was enjoying this tutorial. I will be really happy to see your painting created with this tutorial. If you still have any questions, please don't be shy to ask me in the comments. Don't forget this tutorial possible to paint on a paper as well. This way just use canvas textured paper. Link for sketch and the real-time tutorial you can find on the description box and also you can join me on my Facebook or Instagram hashtag PaintyCat. It was a PaintyCat. Wish you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bye-bye.